it's Lon Seidman, and a few weeks ago we looked at the Asus Chromebox, and now HP has come out with a Chromebox of their own. This is it here. Uh, there's a couple of different varieties of this. They have it in like three different colors. There's black, turquoise, and this is the white version. Uh, Chromeboxes run the Chrome OS, which is essentially an operating system that boots up to a Chrome web browser, and we'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Uh, Specifications-wise, it is identical to the Asus in almost every way. It's got the same uh, Intel processor, a 2955U Celeron, 2 gigabytes of onboard RAM, and 16 gigabytes of solid-state storage, pretty much identical to the Asus. It has, like the Asus, uh, four USB 3.0 ports, two on the front, two on the back. Like the Asus, it also has a display port and an HDMI adapter, an Ethernet adapter here, uh, and a uh, headphone and microphone jack. You also have wireless and Bluetooth built in, and there's a full-size SD card slot on the side. Now, one of the things that, at least in the marketing, that I thought would differentiate this from the Asus is that they claimed it to be silent and fanless. It is not. It is making noise when it's plugged in, and there is air being blown out the back by something resembling a fan. So I don't know if maybe the definition of fan has changed, but this has a fan. There's no question. I've heard it. You will hear it in a minute. It's not very loud, but it is uh, certainly not quiet, and it is certainly not fanless. So they're going to need to uh, update their marketing a little bit. Okay, let's boot this up and see how fast it takes to load the Chrome OS. And Chrome OS runs very quickly, no matter what the device you're on. But on these desktop units, uh, it is really fast. So as you can see, it didn't take much time at all uh, to get ourselves up to the login screen. And before you know it, you've got yourself a web browser window and can start uh, doing all of your web browsing. So we'll just pop up CNN here for a second so you can see uh, just how fast things come up. It's not, you know, blazingly fast, but it's certainly uh, adequate for the task. I, I, it's, it's at the expectation level I have for a computer that costs less than $200. And let's just kind of put it that way. I think it's uh, definitely usable. Uh, great for the non-tech savvy that just wants something that works and they can get you know, some email and some web browsing done, uh, you know, do the Google Docs and that sort of thing. It basically lives in that Google ecosystem. I went into detail on the Chrome OS running on a Chromebox during that uh, series of Asus Chromebox videos I did on my YouTube channel. So check that out. I show how the photos works, how you might be able to load Linux onto it and do some other things too. So I do a lot of detail there. I'm not going to do it again here, but uh, it's pretty good. I think if you know what you're getting into and you're not looking to spend all that much money, uh, it's pretty good. My one gripe with this, and especially, you know, I, I bought this trying to figure out how is this going to differentiate itself from uh, the Asus. And I bought it primarily because I thought it was going to be silent and fanless. Let me see if you can hear the fan here. It is not. It makes noise. It has a fan blowing air out the back. Um, so that one differentiator that was appearing in the marketing is not accurate. It is not fanless. Uh, it costs ten dollars more. So I think if you're, you know, if you're in the market for, you know, something that looks a little bit nicer, perhaps, and I'll pull it back up here. I mean, it looks a little bit nicer than the ASUS box does. It's certainly an attractive uh, industrial design to it. Uh, but really, the price difference, the ten dollar price difference is really the only difference that I can see uh, between this and the Asus Chromebox. They both have fans, so they're both not silent. Uh, they both have the same hardware. They both have the same ports. It's pretty much the same computer, uh, just a matter of brand and maybe aesthetic preferences. So um, it's a toss up. They're both good. They'll both function correctly, but just don't buy this if you think you're getting something fanless and silent because it is not. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.